With journalists banned from covering much of those protests, Iranians are turning to social media websites like Twitter and Facebook to tell their stories to the rest of the world. Fox 11's Scott Hurley takes a look in, at this in tonight's Fox 11 Online Web Watch. Since last week, it's been one of the most discussed topics on Twitter, the Iran election. Just type in hash Iran election into Twitter's search function and the latest information pops up. Wait a few minutes and hundreds more tweets will show up. People inside and outside Iran have been using this service to post updates from the protests, even pictures and video. The discussion of the Iran election on Twitter was so important, the U.S. State Department actually asked the website to put off scheduled computer maintenance. Now, Twitter complied, and in its blog, Twitter wrote, quote, We did so because events in Iran were tied directly to the growing significance of Twitter as an important communication and information network. And they also go on to say, quote, It's important to note that the State Department does not have access to our decision-making process. This is about the Iranian people. This is about the giving their voices a chance to be heard. One of the ways that their voices are heard are through new media. One of the drawbacks of relying on Twitter for information is the media restrictions make it virtually impossible to independently verify much of the information. Also, a lot of the information is posted anonymously, and many of the writers include their opinions while documenting the events. Scott Hurley, Fox 11 News. You can see the latest tweets on the Iran election, plus read Twitter's blog and post comments about the coverage at fox11online.com. Mouse over news and then click on international.